Now, again, this problem was on your test. So I want to make sure that, uh, Devin, you all, you guys have an example of this. So the main important thing is swapping the variables to y plus 1. Okay. Now we need to solve for y. But please remember, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot solve for y when y is in the denominator, correct? So we have to get y off of the denominator. That's why we need to multiply by 2y plus 1 on both sides. By use of the division property, those divide out to 1 on the right side. Okay. Can you, sit, can you find a seat? Um, then over here, we have a y on the right side, and we have a y on the left side. Well, we can't solve for y when it's on both sides, right? So therefore, what I'm going to do is apply the Schroeder property here on the left side. So now I obtain 2yx plus x equals y minus 5. And again, we need to get the y to the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract an x on both sides, and I'm going to subtract a y on both sides. Now, I cannot subtract these because they're not like terms, but I can understand that's going to go to 0, that will go to 0. So I'm left with 2yx minus y equals negative 5 minus x. Does everybody agree with me? So our problem is we have two variables. We have y that we need to solve for, but we have two of them. I can't combine them because they're not like terms. This has an x and this does not have an x. So the only other way for me to be able to, um, to combine them to one y is to factor out the y. So by factoring out the y, I'm now left with 2x minus 1 equals negative 5 minus x. So by factoring out the y, now I have one single y. Now I see my y is being multiplied by 2x minus 1. So to solve for it, I just divide by 2x minus 1. Therefore, y equals negative 5 minus x divided by 2x minus 1. And then to write the inverse, you would just swap the y with f inverse, like I did over there. Cool? Not so bad. It's just, again, following the process. 